Go on my video. Okay. Go ahead, Casey. You can do the intro. Hey, guys. So today, I have Renee and Robert with me. Robert is a good friend of mine. He has a YouTube channel called Collecting Dust Hobbies. You want to check it out, I'll put the link down below. He does a lot of unboxing videos, usually baseball card related stuff, but pretty much any hobby, any collectible, right? Anything I can get my hands on. Anyway, this is more of that deal that we spent $7,500 on. My friend bought in a $300 storage unit. He totally scored. I only spent $7,500 with him. Check out the other videos. Today, we're going to look at Transformers and some really, really rare Dungeons & Dragons. First one, where we have here? Outer Pot Landmine. And all these, well, this one is sealed on this side. How about the other side? No. Not sealed, okay. So I think Ollie's been taken out. The guy played with him probably at one time, but they're all in the original box and they look super mint shaped. So he probably just took them out, looked at them, and had them. What's really funny, he had also a lot of first generation My Little Pony, which you see in the original video, which is a lot of money and I haven't bought, but who knows, maybe I'll buy it. So, okay, put that on the shelf. Then we have Top Spin Jump Starter. Apparently, one time he bought that for five bucks. I'll take a million of them at five bucks a piece. That's terrible where this tape is at. I know, but that tape is actually easy yeah. removable. I forgot about these little, uh, you used, you used to have the little, uh, you could send these in for stuff. Yeah, so a lot of times you see those boxes without them. Oh. Like cereal. And a lot of these are worth, you know, even in this condition, like here's Autobot Catella, that should be at least two, three hundred dollars. <coughs> Maybe what I'll do in this video, if I have enough time, I'll put little bubbles what the value is on those. And this Transformer stuff, I got people asking me literally every day for it. Um, almost every day. Skullcrin. It's a little dusty. Oh, I got gloves for that. Okay, you got it. Okay. <laughs> Skullcrin. I'll use the oh, back of the gloves. that's why the white gloves. <laughs> I'll use the back. Cause then, there you go. <laughs> let's throw some cheap ones in here. Um, tentacle. Tentacle. Sea wing. Overbite. That sounds like a problem. Huh. And <laughs> See, these, were only, these were only worth a half a point. Uh oh, half a point. They were cheaper ones. <laughs> then we got a beautiful jump starter. Twin twist. So this is a really cool. This is an outer pot ratchet. I actually, I had one of these graded. It was either AFA, I think it was like an 85, which is really high grade. And I think I got about $4,000 for it. Obviously not great. It's not going to bring that much. But still, uh, I think that's a G1, which means Generation yeah, 1. Yeah, one of the original ones, yeah. Yeah, so I, I, I th that's a few hundred dollars right there. Uh, triple change of Prot Sight. Oh, that's a really good one. I don't know if that's a G1 or not. I don't think that's a G1, but I could be wrong. I mean, just based on the boxing, maybe not, but who knows? It's like, it, looks like, it looks like a newer box. Collect all C cons. This is C cons and it's Snap Trap. That one looks really cool. Yeah, I don't. I'm not crazy about the colors of those boxes, but that's okay. The boxes or the stuff inside it. The stuff inside is cool, but I mean, I don't like all that purple. I don't know. I like I like the G1 boxes. Here we have Transformer Triple Changer Springer. Should I put some around here? So there was the helicopter, the sword, and the gun. Ooh, accessories. Cool. Accessories. Sorry, it's a girl thing. Also, a little teaser for future videos. All these boxes, they either more slot cars and we have a bunch down there. Or they're filled with red lines. We're going to do a red line video too. So with the red line video, it'd be great if you guys can help me out. Tell me if you spot anything really good. Uh, should we take a break from Transformers and show that rare Dungeons & Dragons piece? Yeah, let's do sure. it. Let's do it. This is probably the rarest piece that we know so far. Advanced Dungeons & Dragons. Tiamat, five-headed evil dragon. Queen of the Chromatics. Oh, which Kevin? Is that so it came with toys? Well, what happened is that this was based on the um, Saturday morning cartoon, I believe. And so they had, yeah, this is, I actually had this one, and that one, and Keelix. So I had Keelix, Zarek, Strongheart, and uh, I guess it's the same one there. But yeah, so it was based on the, some of the cartoon stuff, or the early stuff that came out. And show the inside. It looks so, like it's super mint condition. There's actually the paperwork in that, so too. So you don't see this too often with the box. I mean, this was that one that... We'd go to KB's or whatever, and we always kind of, uh, where was the top of it here? There it is. Um, 
this is the one that's always on the top shelf that none of us could afford as kids. But as you guys can see, it still has the plastic over the heads, at least on a couple of them. Wow. So, I mean, just it's really cool. It's still tied down in there, too. Yeah, it's a really cool. 1983, 1984, made yeah. in Macau. When was Dungeons Dragons started? Wasn't it like 83, 84? Well, actually, or 81? well, 77 and 70, well, 75, I guess, when you go back to like the chainmail days and all when they were really developing it. But yeah, it became really big. In the, the late seventies, uh, yeah, but it was huge in the eighties. Yeah. So it was huge. a cartoon. I thought it was. They had they books. had a Saturday. Well, it was. It's a game with us. They had a Saturday morning cartoon oh. special for it as well. I just remember waking up on Saturdays. We'd watch it. Now there's one on eBay right now, only the dragon, not the box. To asking five hundred, we use a software called WorthPoint, which just searches back for, throughout the years, which is great because you can see how prices go if they're going up or down. But most of these collectibles, everything is going up right now. The last one that sold in box, it wasn't meant like this one. It was it was used. This one looks like it's brand new on the inside. I don't know if uh, Robert showed the head a little bit. Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, we did. Okay. So um, the last one sold for nine hundred dollars in box. And my friend Mark, he actually told me, he goes like, "Look, Randy, this is a really cool piece. It's at least five hundred dollars." And I knew nothing about it. And you know, I just listened to him because me and him go way back. So the last one sold for nine hundred. A bunch of them sold used for five hundred, six hundred, four hundred. So I'm thinking I, I will get around seven to nine hundred dollars for this one. I have to do a little bit more wow. research, but um, that's actually a really really cool piece. So when you guys go to your art sale and you see this sitting somewhere for ten bucks, make sure to buy, buy it. <laughs> my for all you Neverwinter fans out there, this is what Team Out looked like before all the uh, computer age stuff. <laughs> what what look like Team What? Well, uh, Neverwinter it's a video game. Oh okay. You, you get to fight her. Oh, okay. I don't know. I don't play Dungeons and Dragons. <clears throat> Somebody did. Double cross transformers. <coughs> this is a really cool one I like. It's Rodimus Prime Auto Pack Protector. So I guess he's part of the Optimus Prime crew. <coughs> Now we're gonna get to some big ones uh, in just a second here. Um, actually, let's try to see if we can get these out of the boxes. I've never opened these, so hopefully they're all complete. Decepticon, tri Tripticon? Wow. Let's see if we we'll open this up if we can get this actually. Um, we gotta show like this first. Hopefully this is a good frame. KB. Okay. KB okay. Toys are $29.99. Does not take you back to your childhood. Mm -hmm. No, it's just open over here. It's in, it's, I already know it's open at least on one side area. Okay, so this is the bottom. Can you pull up the white right here? I'll, I'll hold the box. Are you ready? Yep. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Okay. Yeah. Touch. <laughs> See, unfortunately, this guy opened up everything, but if it was sealed, it just so ups the value. You can just tell it hasn't been touched. I don't think it's been out of the box. Here's, uh, it's open, it's all the stickers, everything is in here. I mean, if you look at the color, hopefully it comes across good in the video. But if you look at the colors, you can see everything is mint it's condition. Sharp, yeah. And it looks like it's complete. I mean, this piece must be three to $500, I'm guessing. Um, I have to look it up. I will put the bubbles in the videos on these. Um, let's get this piece back in here. Safe. This is not the best part. Don't do this at home like that. Okay, we got that. Another piece. So I'm not gonna open these up because I know these are all complete. And we may have so much time. Well, Skylings. The, the old. Uh, what should we open it up? Uh, space shuttle. Was it Challenger? I guess is that the name of it. Yeah, I've never seen that one before. It's super cool. I love the box. I love the artwork. Oh. You know, I just like the artwork of this whole thing. It has the glow-in-the-dark mini poster. I like that. Let's see if it's in here. Let's see if the glow-in-the-dark mini poster is still in here. Wow, this is taking me back to my childhood. You had Transformers? No, but I mean, boys, I did. What do you mean, boys? Uh, yeah, so he's, he, he, see, he, he put the stickers on. Oh, yeah, here's the... Yeah, yeah so you guys can see. He, he put the stickers on the... Like I said, it was, I don't remember if it was Challenge or whatnot, but... Uh, because that was like the space shuttle design. Yeah, even the, the this popped open. Oh, That's cool. cool. So that was the way it... I wonder if this is to close the dark mini poster. No. Huh? Oh yeah, this poster glows in the dark. So it's the original clone of dark mini poster part of this, which is cool. That's really cool. Yeah, you can see that. Yeah, you can see how it's like in the old thing. It's extra print. Old school. 
that's a cool little find. So, again, complete. Like, apparently he took this stuff out, but really didn't play with it too much. So, I'll let you put it in here. Slide it in. Just really cool stuff. Like, I love Transformer stuff. Uh, I don't know. I just like the artwork. I'm like, I'm not even that crazy about playing with them. I just like the, I thought the boxes were done really well. I like the artwork. And it's just, I mean, I'm a big geek when it comes to 70s and 80s toys, even that's some 90s stuff. You know, one of the really stuff that I like, which I used to watch every morning, probably some of you guys relate, is Mask. Mm -hmm. I watch that. Mm -hmm. I used to love watching Mask. What was Mask? It's kind of like a G.I. Joe type of thing, Transformer G.I. Joe mixture. Yeah, it's we have this mixture. Same thing. Here we got, um, who's this buddy? Oh, this is Superior. I just sold one of these, graded AFA. It was either 85 or 90 I sold for $5,000. Now this is lose obviously a lot less. It's probably worth three four hundred bucks, but maybe two hundred. I have to research. I, don't, I haven't had them. I had them. I haven't had these losing boxes in a long time. They're really hard to find. You just don't run across them. No, not in that volume either. Yeah. And then we have this one right here, which is Autobot Defense Space Omega Supreme. So I think I just quick looked it up. I think it was five hundred dollars plus. <coughs> we can pull this one out of the box too. Wow! Look at that. It comes with a lot of stuff. This is your coffee or my coffee? Yours. Oh, good. I still have coffee. I scored. <laughs> Starbucks, my lifeline. Yeah, because you have like the Dino Boss, looks like the insect. Let's pull it out. Let's look at it. I never had that one. Everything. So like everything's the universe on there. Sealed on this side, not sealed on this side. I just love old toys. I can't help it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like. Oh my god, you should see the look on Renee's eyes. And she looks like drunk with excitement. It's just, you know, it takes you back to your childhood. Now we have the money where we can afford to buy it. And, you know, it's fun. Like, people come in, we talk about toys, they buy some, I buy some. It's just cool stuff. But it looks like it's pretty complete there, right? So this must be some kind of uh, thing in there for secret code or something you have to look at. Oh, that's funny. Oh, that's neat. <laughs> Transformer book. And again, it looks like super mint condition, like it hasn't been played with. Well, yeah, and on top, I mean, these are the, the booklets and stuff, too. I mean, a lot of times you can find it, box one thing, but a lot of times the booklets are missing. Yeah. You know, whatnot, so they're all and still the in there. And the booklets are in mint condition. Yeah. yeah, it's all part of the, you know, somebody who wants a complete, a complete uh, box, you know, this is part of it. Yeah. So you can put all the stickers and put them on, so. So I'm going to price this stuff now, and, um, but just so fair warning, you guys can email me and ask me if, I, I mean, I'm willing to ship all this stuff, but actually I got a couple of customers that are really into Transformers. That's why I paid a little bit of premium for these two, because I know I can sell these really fast, so... Um, they might be sold already, yeah. but I mean, feel free to email me. Might be available. Yeah, not only American buyers, but international. Ones. Yeah, I actually sold a lot of my graded Transformer stuff to China. Yeah. I just sold a Megatron to a guy for, and I, I gave him a good deal, but I think he paid eighty four, eighty five hundred for an AFA eighty five. But I had it listed for a while, and it just didn't get good offers. So, but I bought the deal where I bought several pieces from Aubrey Huff. And basically, I only was out like another $1,000 or so. The rest was profit. So I'm like, you know what? I'm making $7,000 in one deal, and I'll take it. And the guy had really good feedback. Uh, somebody just offered me 800 for this one, but I don't think he knew that it was out of box because that's high. Because it's probably worth about $300. Um, out of box, out of box, wreck a car, or wreck car. It's a really cool one. And when I say 800 I posted some pictures on Facebook, so... You know, I don't think he wants it for that, but you never know. I mean, like I said, finding a box of that stuff is pretty hard to find. I think that's all the Transformers. You guys see any more Transformers anywhere? So I stacked it up everywhere. I think we got them all. Should be a total of 21 pieces included in Dungeons & Dragons 1. So, hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe.